The decision on bringing NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore back to Earth has been made. NASA has decided that it's too risky to bring them back to Earth in Boeing's troubled new capsule, and they'll have to wait until next year for a ride home with SpaceX in February. It should have been a week-long test flight for the pair will now last more than eight months. Season pilots have been stuck at the International Space Station since the beginning of June, and a cascade of vexing thruster failures and helium leaks in the new capsule has marred their trip to the, to the space station. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed Space flight is risky, even at its safest, safest, and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. And so the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. The bottom line relative to bringing Starliner back is it was just, there was just too much uncertainty in the prediction of the thrusters. If we had a model, if we had a way to accurately predict uh, what the thrusters would do for the undock and all the way through the deorbit burn and through the separation sequence, I think we would have taken a different course of action. But when we looked at the data and looked at the potential for thruster failures with a crew on board uh, and then getting into this very tight sequence of finishing the deorbit burn, which puts the vehicle on an entry, then immediately uh, maneuvering from that into a SEP sequence to separate the service module and crew module, it was just too much risk with the crew. And so we decided to pursue the uncrewed uh, testing <clears throat>